Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 24. Is it 24? Uh, yeah, it is episode 24. Um, well, a few things to introduce before we start. Um, I would like to announce that after thinking about it for a little bit, I decided we are going to use the tadpoles. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 one here um the reason is because all we did at the um, at the the crash i forgot the name everything that we did at the crash and we made it far into getting this particular feature awakened um we can use all the illicit powers as bonus actions so since we went through the trouble of doing all of this i I just thought it's uh, it's sort of a waste to not do it, and it's not really doing anything for the series to 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 not do that. So before we start, before I introduce the things we are going to get going and get doing, I do this, and as explained, every little thing here is gonna be now a a bonus action. So. Uh, well, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty OP now. Uh, well, itself is pretty OP, but now since we got the awaken, it's even well uh, enhanced to say it in some way. So, uh, look at this one for example. Uh, the first attack, uh, the first attack roll or ability check you uh, make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus. That is uh, useful. There it is, the, the worm is um, wrecking our brain now. Um, oh yeah, look at this one. Once per long rest, you can change a successful attack roll against a foe into a critical hit. So this is basically you can secure one one successful attack, anything, uh, any attack you want into a critical. That's pretty good. And there is many. There, there is really many here that are, are really good. Oh, this one for example. Uh, charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. Doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. There is, and this one, it's uh, from, from that one obviously, create suffering falling damage because of your actions, take an additional 1 to 8 physic damage. I wish we had a bloody army. Uh, in any case, you, you, you're going to get to see everything that it does, and we get to explain a few more things, that, so that, uh, that's good. Uh, this is a push. Mm, I'm thinking, yeah. Uh, you must be concentrating on another spell to cast this. If your target was concentrating, you heal as much as the damage that was dealt to it. Uh, so this is to break concentration. Uh, if you break concentration on your target, it heals you the same amount of damage that you provoke him. That's uh, that's really good. When an enemy within 9 meters casts a spell, you can use your reaction to inflict 1d4 physic damage to the, to the caster per, uh, per the spell's level. And this is... Okay, yeah. Well, 
When you bring a creature down to uh, to fewer hit points than your number of uh, evolved illicit powers, it dies, and all nearby creatures take one d4 physical damage. So that's uh, that would be one to eight. Uh, when they have one or eight, basically, right? And that's all we go. I, I think we would very well have nine by this point, but since I was not going to use it, I never really pay attention to it. But at the moment so far, just eight. Why are we using them all? Because at the moment, every party member we go around will not use it. Obviously, you can convince them. You can, I guess. But so far, that's the thing. But anyway. We need to get going with the game, with the story unraveling, with the missions. And last episode, after going through the, the Shadow Curse Lands, we met Yehira, who's there. Holy shit, uh, this is the, the... The thief, the little thief guy. Well, Don't girl. We need to talk. Very well. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God! To your very good health. Smell the wine. You'll have to pardon my friend Karlak. She's very excited to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an honor, milady. I will gladly drink to your health as well, Garlac. Uh, well, yeah. Let if well, let's do the check. We ain't got too many buffs, so I'm I'm saving. You perceive a faint hint of. Cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Oh, Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. Well, what do we do? Drink the wine, no fear. Bottoms up, Palatine style. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As I um, about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Very well, let's see how we untangle this. For the better. I mean, we can try this, but it's uh, it's gonna be difficult, isn't it? Let's do it. Oh, we got lots of these things. Yeah, okay, that's good. Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. If it's back, perhaps you should have hit him harder in the first place. <laughs> Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. 
Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met Catholic him on the here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. It's rare people look at me and see hope. <laughs> Considering that we are the back urge. But anyway. The light is rather dim. Out here in the Shadowlands, the point remains. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Catherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Catherick's days are numbered, I'll make sure of it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Oh. Yet you selfishly <laughs> offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. Very well. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in Seluna. the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Very well. Inspire. So, one very important thing now, lads. It's uh, something we're gonna do now. Because this is uh, necessary if you want Halsin to be a companion. Uh, we have to get in here and see about a possible mission. Do you see this guy? It's here in the bed. Art Kolak. What I won't do, Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color. I'm Fistula. It's a play, uh, flaming fist. Climbing up a tree. We... We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just... Wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. That name he mentioned, Daniel, who's that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. The song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met Art anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Very well. Uh, did you already check uh, for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. 
a hundred. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. Oh. Let's see. Assign art collect rank blame. Objective. To obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs. Killed by Catholic Thorn. There it is. Of the region's ancestral Thorn family. Oh, it's Thorn. I've been calling him, calling him Thorn the entire time. <laughs> Orders. Take lodging in the last light inn and begin investigation in the local house of healing. The house of healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has been yet ob uh, has yet been obtained. Note: the Rion Storm family are long-standing devotees of Seluna, but rumors indicate Sharon and Clay might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Signed, Grand Duke Elton. That is indeed interesting. We'll have to see what he found in the House of Healing. But yeah, just so you know, this uh, this is a little bit important in order to get a uh, house in as a companion. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the fine Raphael. What is she doing here? Wait, is that? Oh yeah, he's Barkus. We've encountered him three times now, but what the hell is doing? I did not see this. Your move, Maul. And it's Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Yeah, what the fuck? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's where now, Chief? Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals oh. the lie. She knows the game well. And she wants to win. So I can advise him, but dude, I'm more concerned. I, I'm tripping. I did not. I do not remember Raphael being here. Is this different from my? Like, we're gonna do the slide of hand. We we don't have a good role, but why not? Oops. He surely notices. He sh he he has to know. How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. Oh no. You will consider it, won't you? It's making deals with kids. Get out of here. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. She cheated, of course. But that's half a charm. Just bugger off uh, back to hell with you. Is that why you're here to play games? To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Motherfucker. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Fucking hell.
What is this region's history of tragedy? Why spoil it? It's all out there, waiting to be discovered. You never know what you might find if you just dig a little deeper. Just stay away from all. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough Fucking hell. <laughs> my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. No, never better. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will or is it the worms? But you have no answer and no way of knowing the good thing is though there's only one little voice you really should listen to mine see you soon what a motherfucker the character is really good not gonna lie but yeah i do not remember this A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. We need to warn her uh, away from Raphael before it's too late. Mm, we should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. That's hope. I hope you're right. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Well. Seems like that's it for us. Inspiration. Oh! Do you guys remember this guy? Uh, he appeared for a couple of seconds only. He and his two brothers or his two sons. Uh, at the Grove. Very beginning of the series. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Well, let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, it's you. Don't you get tired of telling people how to live their lives? If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. Oh, sod off! I'm only here because you helped me and my family. I was ready to cut and run back at the Grove, but you had other ideas. Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. So yeah, those were his son and daughter, I believe. Uh, do you know where they are? Well, then it's my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. Well, you're drinking. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. 
I'll fix this. He'll fix it. So this is small. I mean, matches. Well, Mole was here before. I don't know where she go. We can take this. Oh, nice. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well. I, uh... Oh, you look at that. Yeah. I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam! Bam! We were all like, whoa! <laughs> Ever heard of the Blade of Frontiers, kid? <laughs> if you like monster smashing, you might be a fan of his work. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Chap. Didn't kick ass in the blood war, but that's neither here nor there. That's true. But he never got kidnapped by a devil either. Oh. Uh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Look, forget about us big grudges and bruises. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Not that again. <laughs> ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Lol. Get rid of looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is. That's funny. It? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium, check it out. Oh, we've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Uh, you got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special oh. in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. I mean, we can do uh, per deception. Persuasion. I mean, maybe. Okay, uh, I'm almost. It'll be safer with me. Outside, you see. Throw. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought. Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Tower shaped key. Right here. That's uh That's interesting. We have to see what it opens. Oh yeah, I want to mention as well. Well, first of all, let's talk to the kids here. Let's see what's going on with this uh Roland, go away. The drunk card. He's just a grump. <laughs> he called me a ragged little devil. Then he should say sorry. All I did was tell him he shouldn't drink anymore. It was for his own good. He can barely stand up straight. It's full of uh, spider web. Yeah, he did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. What do you mean his loss? I found this book. 
old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. Oh, can I have it? Oh, that's interesting. What do you say? It's for Roland. Hmm. Let's try. That's interesting. Can we learn something? Wow. First. Oh my god. I'm. I've been getting that one a lot. Too often, to be honest. Guess you can have it then. I don't care. Huh. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye bye. Let's see. Uh, how to convey that which I know deep within myself with truth. Oh, okay, it's just a book. I thought I might get like something. Oh yeah, just for you. Uh, what I want to mention before it's here, in this seat, right here. It's where we would have encountered Alfera. That if you've been following the series, you know the reason I I carry a loot in my back is to remember ourselves sort of. Of the sins I committed. Yeah, Fira's not here. And she gives us a mission. The mission to save Roland's uh, tieflings. But she's not here. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. Yeah, where's uh, Zevlor? death trap only for me to land them in this one. Where the hell is Sevlor? He's missing. Aye, and more than half the others with him. Shit. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Sevlor froze, begged us to surrender, but they were toying with us, making examples, and we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others, maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. I'm still tripping by Raphael, by the way. <laughs> Oathbreaker, your life is your own. You owe these people nothing. You were right to run. Well, we don't get this option the best I very often. The ones we left behind. Zevlor seemed to think the cult wanted us alive. I almost hope he never found out why. Well, it seems like we don't get the mission from anyone else. Alfira gives you the mission to go and help uh, several stiflings. But yeah, guys, I'm still tripping bolts about Raphael here. That's insane. However, we spoke with uh, Yahira. I don't know if we left anything. Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you. Right, so she told us about Isabel, who is a cleric of Seluna. Uh, and if you've been following the series, you know that Saluna is the Lady of the Light, Lady of the Moonlight, I think. And Shadowheart is basically their counterpart, uh, being a worshipper of Shar. So we'll see ha well, what happens when we get there. We have an audience with this cleric. So we'll get going. Just so you know, look at that. Look at this. You see this barrier? That that it's uh, that is the cleric casting the protection. That's why the shadow curse doesn't doesn't get to this place. Here she is. Afternoon.
Oh. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. In you, I've heard you are the protector of this inn, the banisher of the shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Oh, you look at that. The blessing falls uneasily over your tainted body. Oh. You can't help but dream. To kill her would destroy all of last life. <laughs> you yearn for it so deeply. It's the urge. It hurts. Oh. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> Damn. Uh, anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Oh. What? Isabel? Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Oh, uh... Do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Alive, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that role as well, just to see more... See if we can learn a little bit more. It's a difficult role. Ah, no, it's not. instructions vivid in your mind nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive alive what's they were marking on? the alive if you have something to say what's going say on oh so look say nothing we are live with the with this guy oh this obviously we are uh, we're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. Quite literally. Your treachery will be punished. The this... absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. What? Time to go, Isabel. Fucking chicken wings, dude. Oh, 
Oh no, more. Holy oh, shit. Moon maiden, guide my hand. With Isabel dead, the whole sanctuary will be flooded with blood. A far finer future than her taken alive. Fucking hell. They they took Maul. Okay, so there's one outside. Um so the thing here is they cannot kill her because that's when they capture her. And this guy has quite a lot of HP. These these guys are coming. There's one under there. So we want we're gonna focus on him. Well first of all, let's cast the frenzy. It's crazy. Car like it's crazy with the with the returning pike. Holy shit this build. Look at that. I'll tell you what. There you are. There is another one here. I don't think I have the movement the movement. There you are. Down. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was not clever. She healed a little bit. Okay, so let's get here on this guy. Shit. We are bashing him. We need to make sure we kill him. Obviously, I remember him way harder because uh, I, I first played through on tradition. But yeah, it's um, this guy is hard. He's got uh, he hits hard and he has like three. Uh, he has an extra attack at this level, so it's three. But at the moment, let's just make sure. We get rid of him. Those are the people down there we cannot see yet. Hopefully we don't lose people. Oh, there's one out there. Hey. Rogue's attack. We can't not. There he goes. It's that one, and we cannot see that one, so. There you Let's see. There's that one there. Oh, 
right. One day I'll catch a break. You could make that jump. I mean, there is that one down there. Ah, okay. Uh, there is only three left. It's a big fight, but how no, true. Forgot about this one. Well, there ain't much more I can do. Let's pass it. Uh... I I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Is that one up there as well? Oh, for a moment I thought those two were dead. No, they're just uh, unconscious. Here goes, and this one, and now the only one it's that one. Come on, you hear her. is the last one look at the far realms so this is uh the illithid power with the worms with the tadpoles this is the one i'm not mistaken yeah that i can choose i critical attack another parasite collected it might be useful oh that has to be That has to be up there with um, with the guy. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederik will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Understood. Yeah, Marcus told me Catholic wanted to capture you, not killed. Why? 
Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Once I take her, uh, Catherine's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Catherine will have none on you. End this. Very well, lads. So yeah, this guy has a parasite. Shifting corporal string. Ah, it's got invisibility and blur. Very well. I mean, can I put this on someone? Ah, uh, Will, I think, doesn't have any rings. Yeah. It's probably an omen, since he doesn't really have anything. Oh no. The kids are living, lads. But yeah, so we have gotta head towards Moonrise Towers now. About this kid, Small was taken, so that's not good. Mole would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than <laughs> shadows. <laughs> what? You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> the other one saying, "He be the harpies and whatnot." That's insane. Yeah, that's funny. I'll bring him home. Bring her home. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine, but you gotta understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Yeah, we'll do. Ah, oh, that's locked. There you go. Catherine Thorn wants Isabel alive. These things had nothing on them. We have to unravel why. However, one thing I would like to point out it's about this guy, sleeping guy over there, well, unconscious guy. This thing, uh, as, as I specified in the video at the beginning, you want to do um, before anything because you need to. I don't know if you can do it afterwards, so you have to do that right away. Why? Because we are going to now go to camp. See if we can talk to Halsin about it. Uh, and that's when it becomes a companion. Or well, he joins the, the innkeep, right? Halsin. A shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it, perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Oh, there it is, see? There's a flaming fist at last light. The curse has left him in insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Thaniel. Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Nathaniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Well, and he goes. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that is pretty important. So that's what I wanted to point it out, what I wanted to mention it. With the mission and and whatnot. 
But anyway, let's end the day. We got no spells, so... Before doing anything else, we ran out of time. Whoa. Oh, mama. I mean... Playtime's over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. Miss Aura. Decades start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. If this devil is so powerful, how did they manage to get captured? <laughs> Lol. Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, oh, no. Fucking Should promised soul refuse bureaucrat. or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemure. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Zora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. Oh. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Okay, let's try on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Uh. You and Wills packed and go on your separate ways. A doubtful Will catches his breath. It says nothing and your connection fades interesting now why should i go letting my favorite pet off his leash oh <clears throat> okay let's see what comes out of this Oof. Nice. Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now. To moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Do you guys realize she's uh, blurry? As as if she wasn't here really. Just a little thing to point out. Very well. The day's over. Oh, the, dr the dream visitor. The voice of the absolute is strong here. I'm getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Oof. But it's good to see you're making progress. She surely liked that I'm using the tadpoles now. But do we trust her yet, lads? That's, a question. That's the question. We took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Well, yeah, like, it was a little bit like that. The cultists caught up with them. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. 
It just doesn't stop. Oh, perception failed. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Uh -huh. Is there anything I can do to help you? I mean, do we trust her just yet? I mean, she was right with the, uh, everything about Blacketh. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm afraid this burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Did you steal the power to protect us from the Absolute? I stole it from Blacketh. Her continued rule depends on it. As long as the Absolute exists, I am trapped within the prison. I can only control the power from here. We must make sure Blacketh never gets her hands on the prison. Nor the Absolute. <sighs> Unfortunately, they are both dedicating more and more resources to retrieving it. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, Will, Will wants to talk. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Chill out. Oh, Misora, okay. Inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. I thought, she, I thought he meant the visitor. Of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. She is. Yeah, that, that 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 is true. This violates the contract. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the inferno, the demonic and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, you mean too much for the sword cause. And it means everything to me. The play of frontiers. I always tears. knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming. Plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Yo guys, let's let's see if uh, I mean I've been saving this one for a while. Let's see what happens if we use it. I've got this bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, maim, kill. Anger, I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter, but perhaps not too big of one. If it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. Well, he didn't say anything. 
I mean, and, and not, nothing concerning, I mean, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, guys, uh, it's been 24 episodes of me uh, trying to unravel this as much as I could. Uh, I'm just going to ask one thing of you. That just keep in mind, keep at hand everything that we've learned so far. I know that doesn't make sense. Um, if, you, if you zoom out, looking at everything, it doesn't make much sense. I'm just going to ask you to remember everything about the absolute... The blackith, everything we've learned so far, all of that at some point is going to converge and it's gonna make boom. It's gonna be grand. Look at my armor, dude. It's fucking, it's fucking sick. But yeah, this is where we're gonna leave it for today. Thank you so much once again for watching the entire video. I really hope I, um, we can get to unravel more and more, like. I told you at the very beginning of the series, this is going to start just giving and giving dialogue and story, and that's how it's been lately. We met Isabel, we we now need to get going to Moonrise Towers after a long while of being addressed that way, and we never did. You know, it's going to be it's going to be great from now on. And yeah, thank you so much once again, and I'll see you next time. Take care.